Hello everyone, welcome to This Day. It is Wednesday and it's December 28th. We have one meeting to tell you about, then also to let you know that the meeting for the town hall has been canceled. So that was the third town hall that will be canceled. However, at 9.30 this morning, we have the United Maintenance and Construction Committee meeting, and that will be in the boardroom. On our show today, we have Donna Rain Shostak, who is here on behalf of Third Mutual Board, and she's here with an update. And then we have Ajit Gidwani and Joan Brown, who are here on behalf of the Pickleball Club of Laguna Woods, and they have some exciting information that they would like to share with you. All right, let's take a look at our weather. Well, we had a gorgeous Christmas, and we are looking at not snow, but how beautiful is that? We are looking at lovely uh, temperatures here, 63.52, 61.51, but starting to cloud up 61.55, and looking at some more rain, 62.51, and then sunshine 6147 before we have a big storm coming in starting on Monday and it looks like we'll have rain for a few days. Our sunrise this morning was at 654 and our sunset will be at 451. Now I wanted to remind you that your Christmas tree can be picked up on the following Tuesdays, January 3rd and January 10th if you missed it yesterday. Please call Resident Services at 949-597-4600 48 hours prior to placing the tree by the curb. And then the great thing is all of the discarded trees will be mulch and spread around the village here. And so very exciting. All right, when we come up, when we come back, we will have Donna Rain Showstack. So stick around. For a change of scenery, you don't have to play golf to enjoy all that 19 Restaurant and Lounge has to offer. From a delicious breakfast menu to our delectable lunch and dinner specials, at 19 Restaurant and Lounge, there is something for everyone. Relax with your friends and family and take in the beautiful view from our spacious patio. Or enjoy a cocktail and appetizer in our lounge. 19 Restaurant and Lounge is a great place to socialize, enjoy a meal, or simply take in the view. Join us seven days a week and experience Laguna Woods' exclusive dining experience. Dr. Vias and the OCI Care staff believe in one-on-one -on -one care and the patient-physician relationship. OCI Care was absolutely the most wonderful place I've ever been to as far as being taken care of. The staff was very friendly and I felt very welcomed and relaxed. How did I feel about Dr. Vias? The man is very gentle, he is very caring and totally involved with detail. Achieve a level of comfort you've never known before. The Daydreamer will take you through smooth movements and guide you effortlessly into your favorite positions. Adjust the power pillow for ideal support for your head and neck. This and our positioning technology allows for infinite relaxation. Lay back in zero gravity while watching TV and put your body and mind at ease. Lift your spirits and find your favorite daydream. Contact your local Golden Retailer today. Welcome back. Well, as I mentioned, we have Donna Rain Showstack here on behalf of Third. Well, welcome. Nice to see you. Very good to see you. Thank you for having me, Lisa. You're welcome. And we appreciate you getting up early to be here because I know it's hard after the holidays. <laughs> we want to just sleep in. So thank you so much for coming in. So some good news. Uh, residents have been doing a really good job of saving water, which is super important. Yes, and I, I really wanted to share that with everyone. We still have water issues, but, yeah. but before we do that, I just wanted to give a very quick recap on a couple of things. Perfect. 
Uh, third was very pleased with a lot of work with our department heads, et cetera, to not have any increase in third mutual's monthly assessment in the third mutual portion of it. So that was great. Yes. And I did want to share with, with our residents, our viewers, that architectural controls and standards, which translated is manner alterations, mm -hmm. has been working really hard to simplify processes. They're going through every single one of the uh, criteria and trying to make it simpler and more user friendly. So um, when you, next time you want to do some alterations, hope it's a good experience. But I really want, as you said earlier, focus on water and mm -hmm. on good news. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The water problems aren't going away, but residents and landscaping, everybody is doing their part. Right. So in terms of landscaping, uh, when, when Third Mutual's landscape water got cut back, we cut it back about 15% in response to the request across the board to do that. Mm -hmm. and save just in the three months that we had time before the end of the year to save some money, saved over about $150,000, wow. which is a lot. Yeah. And that was taken out of the utility budget where we thought we'd be spending it on water. And we were able to move it over into landscaping and be used to put some drought tolerant plantings in some areas Goodness. that are really unusable and high maintenance. Perfect. So again, it will save more money, it will beautify the area, and so we right. were very, very pleased to be able to do that. Uh, but I, I did want to talk about the fact that water savings is critical. Yes. We have a problem, and this slide probably shows it the best. It's so scary to look uh, at it. It is, it, it is very scary. The, the first slide, on, the first picture over on the left of the screen shows 2000 when the feeding arm, Overton arm that feeds into Lake Mead was looking very healthy. Mm. The middle one is 2021, and you can see a dramatic difference. Yeah. But what's really scary is from 2021 to 2022, if you look at the middle of that picture, that middle area has almost completely dried up. Wow. So we can't stop our efforts. We have to keep doing them. Right. But we've been doing them, and that's what I wanted to share. Well, and that's important because you know what? It's not just us. I mean, it's California. It's several other states, and we all need to make sure we do what we need to do. And particularly here in Southern California, yeah. we really are semi-arid. We're a semi-desert area. It's mm -hmm. not going to go away. Mm -hmm. We have to accept that. So I, I did want to share and thank our residents for the efforts they're making. Mm -hmm. um, El Toro Water District shared with us that we've had since the middle of 2021 a 19% decrease Wonderful. in residential water use. Good. We can we can measure residential water in third because residential landscape are separated out, whereas they uh -huh. are not in the rest of the village. Okay. But here it's separated, and they can see that it's residential water juice. And using okay. some formulas translate really to the rest of the village as well. That's wonderful. 19% is huge. Yeah. Um, and and. I, we thought it would save a lot of money on the bill, and it did, except that unfortunately, just as we went and started all of our water efforts and really wanted to make that difference, El Toro was forced to raise our rates. So, yeah. <laughs> so we couldn't quite see it in the full bill, mm -hmm. but in third, again, where residential water use is separated out, we could see it in the excessive water use charges that have gone down. Okay. Tier one is, is efficient use, tier four is excessive use, right. and the water in tier four costs four times the amount mm. that it does for the same amount of water in tier one. Okay. And we used to average about $15,000 a month just mm. for tier four water. Right. That's down to 1,500 a month, right. and we've saved easily over $160,000 from wow. January to September. So that was huge. And so, again, in the big bill, we didn't see it because the bills have gone up, but we certainly saw it in excessive water use. Right. And we do see it in the measurement of residential water use. Mm -hmm. And from January through September of 2022, residential water use saved 11 million gallons oh of water. That's wow. a huge amount. It sure is. And so thank you to our residents. <laughs> that was a holiday present to everybody. And of course, the message is, keep it up. We, Absolutely. We, we can't stop doing that. And we did, if we move on to the next slide, I want to share with you that we've just put together a panel discussion mm -hmm. for TV6. 
uh, Dennis Cafferty, the general manager of El Toro Water District, and Lee Goldstein, advisor to Third's Water Conservation Committee and Earth Day Chair, mm -hmm. uh, was with me on this panel. And we discussed water. I, I, I think everyone, I hope, they'll find it interesting. It's going to be aired in January every Sunday at 5 and every Wednesday morning at 8.30. So we're excited about that. And again, most important, thanking everybody for the efforts, and they've right. got to continue them. And, it, and this is actually, actually something that's very nice to see. The panel discussion is because you have people, obviously, who are within the thick of it. And they'll be able to tell us you know, where the water comes from, all of our storage, what, what projected could happen in the future, maybe desalinization, things like that. There's a lot of things in the works. There is a lot, and Dennis talked about, about the potentials for them. Okay. But the one thing we always have to remember is in this part of South Orange County, our drinking water comes from somewhere else. We have exactly. to buy it. We have right. to transport it. It'll always be expensive. And we probably, it'll always be in short supply. So yeah. keep up the good work. It's, yeah. been, it's been great. Well, I love it, and they're, they're probably using all of the things that the uh, water district tells them to do. Take your shorter showers, don't wash your cars, you know, do all those things that, that can help just a little bit. You know, and, and actually that, but also fixing leaks. It, yeah. We forget how, how huge a difference it makes just right. to fix leaks and find them. So people have been doing a good job there, too, as well. And that's why our excessive use portion of the bill has gone down so much. That is fantastic. Well, wonderful news. Congratulations to everyone in third, and thank you so much. Yes, and just leave everybody with one thought. The water we save today is the water we'll need tomorrow. Perfect. Thank you so much. If you want more information about this, you can always send an email to generalmanager at vmsinc.org, and it will go to the appropriate person. Or you could also watch the panel discussion, which will be on our YouTube channel, Village Television. We'll be right back. I'm Dr. Bobby Awadala here at Skin Credible Dermatology, and our goal is to turn back time naturally and beautifully. My experience with Skin Credible has been incredible. And Dr. Bobby made suggestion to use Botox or Xeomind, and it turned out beautifully. I'm very happy with the results. We know you'll love Skin Credible so much once you try it. We're willing to offer new patients their first treatment at $6 per unit. So give us a call or visit our website so we can start that journey an entrepreneur and have been struggling with staying focused on tasks. I needed something to help me with focus and memory and have found the holy grail of multivitamins. MindSense One has removed my brain fog and now I have better clarity and can focus on tasks and remember names and places much better. MindSense One helps support the eight indicators of brain health. Purchase at MindSense.info or available at these fine retailers. Are you struggling to hear in your noisy dining room? Do you have to pause and think about what people are saying so you can figure out the words? Do you find yourself lost in conversations? Can you hear but you don't understand the words people are saying? You need to get on the ARC. No, not Noah's ARC. This is Stuart's ARC hearing aids with artificial intelligence. You will never know how much better you can hear until you listen to the clear sound and noise right in our office. Call us today. Don't miss the boat and tell them Stuart sent you. County has made a difference, but doing so shouldn't mean putting your own health at risk. Hope wants you to know that safe, quality care is available. Don't ignore or delay the medical attention you need. From routine checkups to revolutionary treatments, Hogue is here for you, just as we have been for almost 70 years. Like no other time before, your health care choices matter. Get the care you need from the name you trust.
Welcome back. Well, we have a very popular club here today. We have the Pickleball Club of Laguna Woods. We have Joan and Ajit here. Well, welcome both of you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you for I having us I know it was so over. much fun when I got to get out there and play. Wonderful sport. And, you know, with that said, you have an awful lot of people that are playing that are here from the club. And while that's a good thing, it's yeah. also a bad thing. So tell me a little bit about what's been happening with the club. Uh, the club uh, has been growing at, in leaps and bounds. We have, uh, we have seven courts at present and they are, that we are sharing with paddle tennis on, ah. on certain days. So we have it on certain days and they have it on certain days. So the number of people that are, that are using it have grown and the courts are keeping getting busy by the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is why we are here. <laughs> and and you know you you're sharing so I miss is paddle is paddle board not as popular as pickleball not or, I believe no, so not as not as popular but so they have priority on Tuesday and Thursday mornings but if there are empty courts then you pickleball players on. fill okay. in okay right okay right all right and approximately how many members do you have now at present we have about 548 members. Mm -hmm. uh, we had That was like 2 weeks ago, so it's more than that. <laughs> more now. than that. We, that was uh, before, when our yeah. meeting was We had about 284 2 years ago. Right. So if you right. can see that we nearly have doubled our membership right. in 2 and years. in 2 years and it's growing by the day. Right. And it's not only the membership, the number of people playing on the courts has right. increased tremendously. So we get to play a game and then we have to come off so that another set can so go off. So you do off. a rotation. So How long to... is the wait, generally, would you say? As long as the play. You oh, play, okay. So you play for 15 minutes, you're off probably at least 15 minutes. Oh, okay. And that's hard. As compared to other sports where they can get on a court and stay on an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. No, that's true. That's true. And you only have, I mean, you only have so many courts. But nonetheless, you, you're doing a good job of it, and you raised money for the lights, which is super. Right. But now you have your eye on a different area that you would like to build more courts. Right. The, you know, we're at Max. It's, it's, it's all day long there are people down there playing, and if they're not f filled, the seven courts, they're almost filled. So uh, it, the growth of the sport is, is our problem. Like you said, it's good and it's bad. Mm -hmm. We need more courts, and we don't want to do anything that will affect the HOA. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to pay any more to it in the HOA. So we're proposing to build a new pickleball facility, which will have a zero impact on the GRF budget. It will not raise the HOAs. We will raise the funds ourselves. Okay. And then the ongoing cost of maintaining the, the complex mm -hmm. is we hope to have and expect to have regional tournaments. It's large enough to have regional tournaments, maybe national pickleball tournaments played here. And whatever profits we can get from that, we will turn over to GRF to take care of the maintenance costs. I see. So it will cost the residents nothing. Okay. And that's what we're aiming at. Now, you have gone to a, the board already, and you presented this. Correct. And, of course, that's going to take some time for them to approve and, you know, do all of those things. What's your next steps? Our next step will be the, to get the approval from the board. Till we don't get the approval from the board, we can't start our, our fundraising. Mm -hmm. So as soon as we get the approval from the board, we, we, will, we will start a fundraising, and we have a goal of getting certain amount that, that is needed to build it right. uh, in, in uh, maybe a year, year and a half, and, and get the project done. Okay. As, so, yeah, go ahead. So we have to figure out our policies and, and our, our opportunities for donations. So like we're thinking, because it's going to take a couple of bucks, this is going to be more expensive than lighting uh, three of courts. Course. But we had success there, we'll have success here. So we're, we're looking at naming the complex, giving naming rights, naming tennis courts, and, and we're hoping people will make these legacy donations it so, will be associated with the Village Community Fund, okay. which is a 501c3 organization, mm -hmm. so that gifts through the Village Community Fund become tax deductible. Okay. And so there's more of an incentive for people to give. But this is going to need the small donations and some big donations. Right. Tell me what we're looking at. Like how many courts? 
Actually, we are looking at about uh, 24 courts, mm -hmm. with uh, one court being a championship court with the bleachers around it. Mm -hmm. So that, that people can sit there and watch the finals or, of any tournament, or even if we have our, our in-house in tournaments, they have a place to sit down and watch. Okay. And that is our goal with a, with a clubhouse, just like a tennis complex. They have a clubhouse there, and oh, we okay. want to have a clubhouse as well, mm -hmm. as, as the picture shows. And we want to make it look very beautiful, mm -hmm. that it is part of, a, part of our community. Right. And basically, that's what we are trying to do, is we are trying to raise the, 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 the project for community. Mm -hmm. It's not just for the pickleball club or right. pickleball people. It's for all of us, because right. it will increase the value of our properties because this is, it is the first thing nowadays that people come here and ask whether we have a, a facility of this kind here or no. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. is an attraction for all of us because of mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Right. And the clubhouse, you know, can be rented out by GRF for other things. Okay. The facilities, obviously, will be owned by GRF. Right. So it increases the value of the community and uh, makes it more attractive. Right, right. And, and that is the location of where you're talking about is just above the tennis court uh, parking lots. Right, okay. right. Between the admin building and tennis courts, there's that hill that has served no purpose for as long <laughs> as I've been here. And I think I've been here 15 years. Wow. So okay. if we can use vacant land yeah. and make it productive yeah. at no cost to, to the residents, right. win-win. Now let's talk about something that you said earlier regarding uh, donations. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that you will generate a 501c3 for the pickleball courts? So then if people do have donations, then they would have an uh, opportunity for a yes. write-off? Yes, we'll be going through no. the, uh, the village community Oh, that's fund, what you're going to do. Which right. is oh, I see. a 501c3. That's right. So you don't have to start another one. No. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Perfect. So if they approve the project, and we do believe they will, then donations, donations would go can be through made them. through them. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. so that way they can write off any donations they want to they want right. to have, or otherwise. So we don't have to go through the process of Create, re, creating re, a whole other one. reinventing yeah. okay. the wheel right. when we already have it in Village Community Fund, right. and they helped us out last last time also with oh, our light the, oh, the that's night. Oh, right. Okay. So it was a perfect uh, vehicle. Right. Big project, and exactly. I know that uh, there are many uh, corporations that I know you're going to be reaching out to mm -hmm. that potentially could help because they will benefit as well, especially if you are able to use it as a regional facility Correct. for tournaments. Correct. So perfect, perfect. Well, have we missed anything? It sounds very exciting. Boy, do you have no. your hands cut out yeah. for you there. Yeah, so it's a big project. We're cut out for you, that's it's, for sure. It's a, it's a very huge project, but... That is what we want. We want to do something for the community. Well, that is great. Well, I appreciate all the work that you guys are doing. Keep it up. There'll be lots of happy people. That right. Are You'll have to come down again. You oh, well, down of course again. I will. We'll, <laughs> we'll just, uh, you know, do, well, however long it takes, we'll have to see, right? Right. <laughs> right. All right. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate the Thanks. information. Thank, you. thank right. you for having us. You're welcome. If you want any information about the club or about what is being proposed, you can always get in touch with them at the Laguna Woods Pickleball Club. We'll be right back. Welcome to Harvard Eye Associates. We're focused on your eye care at all three of our Orange County locations. Our new location in Laguna Hills, Orange, and San Clemente. Each facility features the latest in advanced technology and diagnostic equipment. And a trusted collection of doctors that care about your vision and your quality of life. We deliver what matters to you and your family. Harvard Eye Associates, the future of vision today. Life, a series of moments. A touch, a look, a laugh successful people. It might not be superior imagination, it just might be superior retirement planning. Imagine what's next. Plan today, own tomorrow.
is Radnet? You've probably heard our name and seen our commercials, but you still might not know who we are. Radnet is the largest provider of outpatient imaging services in the United States, with over 8,000 employees and almost 400 imaging centers in seven states. Likely, if you have had diagnostic imaging, you have experienced Radnet's high-quality, cost-effective imaging services. With 35 years of expertise, Radnet is leading into the future with advanced technology and the very latest AI technology. We are positioned for the future of healthcare. Radnet, leading radiology forward. As we advance through the years, challenges in our daily activities arise. Lake Forest Services hire caregivers that go through stringent screening and compliance processes for assistance in all daily activities. Qualified veterans may also receive care as a VA benefit. We also provide full service palliative and hospice care through Lake Forest Hospice. Our medical director and his team accommodates house calls to those in need. We exist to create seamless transitions that enhance quality of life. Let's preview some of the movies that we have coming up this weekend. On Friday, it's called Best of Show. And of course, this is all about doggies competing. You can check that out on Friday at 2 p.m. with subtitles, 6 p.m. without. And then on Saturday is a very funny movie called The Upside, and that stars Kevin Hart, comedian. And you can enjoy that on Saturday, 2 p.m. with subtitles, 6 p.m. without subtitles. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, make a few announcements. Now, of course, New Year's Eve is right around the corner, and the Recreation uh, Department has two different opportunities for you. The first one is the incredible acts on one festive night, and that's anywhere from magicians, to songs, to skits, you'll love it. It is, uh, tickets are on sale and you can get that through the PAC box office or you can get in touch with Recreation at recreation at vmsinc.org and tickets are 30, 35, and 40. And of course that depends on where you are sitting. Then the next one, which is also on the same night, so you are gonna have to make a choice. This is a traditional celebration where you're gonna ring in the new year with celebrations and cheers with champagne toasts and uh, also dinner. So you may want to check that one out. And again, you can get in touch with them at recreation at vmsinc.org. Let's take a look at the weather. We are looking at just cloudy skies for the majority of the next couple of days. But we are going to have rain again this weekend. Uh, but it's only going to be about a day of rain or an evening of rain. And then it'll be right back to sunshine. And then we make way for lots of rain coming on Monday. Of course, just as we heard, we need to save our water, so all, any rain we can get is wonderful. Have a great day in the village. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on Village Television at 9 a.m. Bye-bye. Hallmark in Laguna Niguel is now an Elam's Hallmark, and we are excited to be part of your community. We have just remodeled, and you will be surprised by the wide variety of fashion and accessories, home decor, collectibles, Disney, Peanuts, Harry Potter, and Star Wars, along with the largest Hallmark card selection in town. Stop in today and sign up for our Crown Rewards program and get a free Just Because card. Once a member, you can get a free card once a month. Elam's Hallmark, your neighborhood gift store. Hi, I'm Ann Mundell Noel, audiologist and owner at Amazing Hearing. We are so excited. We have been voted number one place to buy a hearing aid in Orange County, and it's all thanks to you, our patients, colleagues, friends, family. Thank you so much for placing your trust in us for your hearing needs. Give us a call at 949-667-9818. Thank you.